Hello everyone, my name is Dave and today I'm going to show you how to do, well how to make um, text in Cinema 4D. I got some examples there. So we're going to create this. It's like the letters are slightly tilted and you've got a cool outline. And it's good lighting and I reckon it's really nice anyway. And this is another example. And this. So again, it got a cool little outline. So yeah, we'll get started now. And first of all, I think you should really get, well, you should really get a, a Lightroom. You can download them off YouTube if you just type it in. I might put some links in the description to some Lightrooms or whatever. But if you don't want to do it, I suggest to though. But if you don't, then just you can just add a light. Okay, so we'll get started now. So the first thing you want to do is go into your settings. And set this, the width to 3000. And the height to 1000. And then everything else, leave the same. Save it to anyway, I'm going to save it to my desktop. Name it whatever you want. Um, change this format to PNG and then tick alpha channel don't need to do nothing on that go on anti -analy analyzing I can't even say it. <laughs> but go on on that again and then go on best and then 2 times 2 and then set this to 12 you can you can have different render settings but I find this is the quickest and the best don't you need nothing in these three then, just leave these three the same. But you need to go on effect, ambient occlusion, and then leave that. Effect again, global illumination, but go on a radiance cache and go on and click it to low. So we're done for that. And the next thing we need to do is create our text. So go into MoGraph and then down to text. And position your text. So I'm gonna do this one letter at a time, because then we can rotate the um the letters and and position them wherever we want. So I'm gonna just I'm gonna put Dave for now. So I'll put your first letter of your word in, and then change the depth to 400. Ooh, I accidentally deleted that. Bear per, bear per um your depth to 400. So it's nice and like thick now. Um, let me just change this. Okay. And then go on, just duplicate this now by clicking on it. And then clicking Control C, Control V. And then you'll have a duplicated one. But then you want to go click on this one, go down to Caps, and put them on to Fill it Cap. And you can leave them at 5 centimeters. Then go into your next one, do the same. But change the radius to two centimeters on both of them. Okay, so now we got that. Now the one that you put on two centimeters, you want to bring it forward a bit. You can bring it forward as much as you like, but I think just about there. That looks good. So now we got this little like it's like popped out a bit. And now we want to um, create the, the colors that we're going to use for the text. So go down here. You can either double click down here to create one or you can go and create new material. And then double click on one of them. And then go on color. And then texture. And gradient. And click on gradient. Change it to whatever color you want. In this case I'm going to do to green. Luminous green and blue a dark blue thing for that. but change the type to 2D V in other words vertical and go down to reflection tick that and then go and turn it down to about 12 ok and then for the next material just put it to white 
Yeah, make sure the reflection is white. Then put it on to about seven. That should look good. And click on color. Then change that to white again. So it goes a bit brighter. The default color is a bit grey, I think. But I just leave that on at that now. So we want to put this one on the outside of it. And then this one on the front. So we got that now. And if you want, you can change your text. The um, You can change the font, I mean. So I'll change it to what's the normal King of the Hill. I think that looks a bit better. I'll move it up. If you want to move these as well, make sure you have both of these selected by clicking on one and clicking shift, shift clicking on the other one. And now you want to um, duplicate these now to do your other letters. But before that, we'll rename it. So rename that to D, and then that one to D. To rename it, you just click on and click enter. So then shift click on both of them, and control C, control V, and you can move it out. And then rename them again. Okay, and then shift click on one, and then on the other. Then change the text to your next letter. And carry on, you want to carry on doing this then for all your letters in the word. So we'll change that to V, and then rename them. I'm renaming it just just not to get it not to get confused. I can't say my words today, but just shift click on them and then keep moving them across until you get all your um all your letters. You you don't have to rename the layers, but I prefer I prefer to do it because it it don't confuse me then. Okay. So we got that now, and now we just want to space them out again. Okay, so now we just want to space them and like rotate them to wherever we want. So click on one, shift click on the other one. And now we can either move it forward or back or whatever. But we, we want to like rotate it forward if you want. You can rotate it wherever way you want. But this is the way I'm going to do it. Rotate that in a bit and down like that. Then rotate this. I'll put it that way a little bit. I'll rotate it forward a tiny bit. And then move it close up to the, um, the D. And then go on V. I'm going to move that a bit closer. And rotate it a little bit. I think I'll rotate it up. Actually, yeah. Rotate it up a bit. Rotate it that way. Now the E, rotate it that way, quite a bit, and then move it all the way across, move it forward a bit so it's in front of the V. Okay, that looks good. And now, and now we can preview this by clicking up here. Just wait for it to preview, and then this is our text now. So you can see that little green line around there. You can always change the colours. But I think this looks good. But I'll give you an example of a different colour. So if you want to change it, just click on the material down here. Go to gradient. Go into that one. So this green one, the one on the left, the colour on the left will be your outline. So if we want, say, a red outline, go on there. Say a yellow, like the middle to be yellow. Just change this to yellow. Darker yellow, yeah, that looks good. So now, if we preview this again, there you go. So we leave it on. That's basically it. Now, just to render it out, just click on this button up here, rendering out. You might not see it in my recording until it's completely finished, but that's just because of the software I'm using. So I'll wait until it renders out now, and then you'll see it all done.
Okay, so now the text is all rendered out, as you can see, and now we should be on my desktop. Uh, so the use the, um, the text that we just made, and there you go, that's the tutorial. So if you want any tutorials anymore, just leave them in the comments and I'll see what I can do. I do a bit in After Effects as well, so if you've got any requests in there, just leave a comment again. But like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.